hey guys welcome back to another video on this heroes day well mommy eccleston in the kitchen on this heroes day going to cook up a storm yes well what i'll be cooking today is i'll be steaming a fish yes i'll be steaming fish and i'll be french frying some chicken yes i want steamed fish today Yes, more strung up my body, steam fish with your okra, your banana, your pumpkin, and everything. Yes, I'm going to steam down my fish. You know, I'm going to tell you no. Just watch the video and see. Yes, and french fried chicken with rice and peas. And my look about some side on it. Yeah, my look about some string bean and, you know, some coleslaw. Yes, so stay tuned. And yes, guys, cereal juice too. Yes, I draw some cereal juice. Mm -hmm. Yes, good, good, nice, nice cereal juice. Alright, so stay tuned and watch me. And learn something too, meanwhile, me I do the video. Okay, stay tuned. <music> So, first thing first, we put on my water for boil up with my ginger, right? So, I have my cereal where I wash, so I'm going to add this to the boiling water. So, there you have it. The cereal, put the cereal into the water. So they have boiled up already with the ginger. Let the water boil first this time with the ginger. See here? So now I'll cover this and leave it for about 60 minutes. Yes, yeah. kind of want more on that place. Chew the water hot already and they have boiled up with the ginger. You yeah, know, so it's easy for draw. As we Jamaican here say we are draw with sari. So that is it for my sari. I will move over and show you my fish and my chicken that I've already seasoned. So over here now guys, I have my snapper fish. Yes, only one fish I'm looking about because I'm the only one who eat fish here at, at home at the moment. My husband, Duane, him, he's not here so now I look for more than one fish. So see my snapper fish there. Me zoom up on my snapper fish show you no. Know? Well seasoned, scale and you know clean up and season. In my steam fish I'm gonna use pumpkin. I'm gonna put banana. Yes, I don't know if, if anybody used used to be put banana in the steam fish, but it can go in there. I have my crackers. I'm gonna steam down my fish into coconut milk. And I'm gonna use a little bit of this grey scox noodle. Here's my seasoning for my fish. Okra, carrot, bell pepper, onion, chopped scallion, thyme, garlic. And over here for my chicken, to do my french fried chicken. So this chicken is well seasoned. The zoom in show no. See there? Yes. I'm going to use my maggi seasoning as usual on it. So, see my maggi seasoning is my all purpose. See my chicken there? Yes. And see my jerk there? Yes. They are the only thing Mami Eccleston use in our kitchen as seasoning, as powder seasoning. I'm not using all this powder seasoning because the rest of powder seasoning them full of salt. And salt of it. Salt. I don't want too much salt in my body because I don't want high blood pressure. 
okay guys all right guys i am going to look back on my siren to see how it's there look at the siren now i still can remove this from the stove yes you see it say it a draw all right cause the water they already have boil up with the ginger so see there guys I'm so remove this you are cool now I'm setting on some water in my pot for my steam fish so I'm just gonna let that boil up and I then I go step by step guys see my water there ready and guys everybody steam fish different okay this is how me mommy Eccleston, do our steam fish so first thing when me I steam my fish me put in my I may always do it steam down my fish in a coconut coconut milk I may use noogle I always put in the noogle first and let the noogle go and boil like for one minute or one two minutes right and then me I will stir up this let the noodle one while for a minute. Now give it two minutes. Cause you know you need to give two minutes, like a minute. Then I'll go ahead and put in my seasoning. Alright guys. Let me noodle a bubble up. So I add in season them now. See here. Stir up this. I'm going to add in the banana and the pumpkin to also. So that is my season. The bell pepper, carrot, onion, garlic, scallion. Okay. This is my pumpkin and my banana. And I'm going to add the coconut milk also. Okra and the crackers. But I'm going to add last because you know so the crackers are the last thing you add. So, so leave it and let the banana and the pumpkin cook. Right? So guys, I'm going to add the coconut milk to this. And let it cook down with the banana and the pumpkin. I'm going to stir this. Once you stir it, you know, it's going to dissolve. It's going to dissolve. The coconut powder is going to dissolve. And this well seasoning, I'm going to taste it. And the scotch bunny pepper, I'm going to taste it in there. And the noodle. Right? So, the steam fish down in a coconut milk. Okay, the sweet aroma where I come from, my patisi guys. Mm, 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 mm. Smell nice. But the heroes there, you look there. Right. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to add my fish now to this because you don't know what banana I cook. I don't want my pumpkin to mash out. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to add my fish now to this. I'll be adding my fish. Fish well seasoned, no guys. See here. Add my fish now. I'm gonna add in some seasoning to this. So I'm gonna add a little bit. Not much, but you know because. As before, I tell you, I'm no go in there. I'm going to well season up my fish already with me. Different type of seasoning I'm going to use. And greater onion and garlic on it. So, I'm going to stir up this now. Yeah. I'm going to put in the okra now. Then I'm going to say carrot. carrot. I'm going to add one little tinge piece of butter to it too. Add in one little piece of butter. Just 
wieder geil. Eine Fischbeerbohren. Und Adina's Motorwater, das ist eine Kakasloinheit. Ja, alright. Ich bin noch sick. Ich bin noch in der Water. Ich bin noch in der Nähe der Kakas, aber es ist so gut. So, das ist gut. Ich bin noch in der Flip over bei Bad Boy, in der Nähe. the bad boy and the pot you know oh that look nice one thing mash up you know ah yes bad boy they flip ah yeah you never add Crackers to this now. Yes, so the crackers with one. Simmer down with the other side. We are steam. Yeah. So my fish look. See there. Steam fish and a coconut juice. Ooh. Can you hear us there? I've never had no crackers now. No one, no crackers there. No, so when you eat this and the crackers. Oh yeah, smells when I'm out so And then the banana in there and then the pumpkin in there man Why? Wow, that's why I put banana in it I want banana in it and know everybody steam fish this way We steam fish all different way but you know Everybody do things different But this is my way I think no one more crackers more than that this with my sorrel juice cause I don't want another fried chicken nor the rice and peas now this I want with my sorrel juice and some of the coleslaw to eat that is my hero's day dinner kids are not going to eat them fried chicken they know children love fried chicken okay, so this is my hero's day dinner I'm so to me a chef up here at part of dinner man I'm just deal with this Check that for my fish now coming. I want my fish mash out, you know. Right, I see you guys. See it, look. Alright. So it's finished now. See there? Steam fish done in my coconut milk. Oh, nice. Here I can see it. I'm gonna make them mash out. You yeah, can make them mash out and get started. This is finished. Alright guys, I'm done steam my fish. So may I'll go now and start cooking the rice and peas and the French fry chicken. So see the peas eh, already already cook and see my aile I eat up for my chicken. So over here now, as I said before, my chicken the well see clean up, wash off with vinegar. And seasoning with my maggi season, my onion, and my garlic, my grater garlic and my grater onion. So here's the flour. I'm gonna add some egg powder to it and some baking soda, right? And I have my egg here, guys. Me not me not get out the white part of the egg this time. A little bit of yellow catching it, the yellow part catching it, but nothing wrong still, you know. You still can use. I'm not so perfect and broke in the egg and forget the white part, right? And I have my garlic to fry my chicken with. So I'm just going to go ahead and add my egg powder and my baking powder. So I'm going to seize up my flour now to coat my chicken. So this is the baking powder and this is the egg powder. You have to know the amount of baking powder and egg powder to add. I have measuring spoons in a but I don't know say. I know if I measure my thing out, out of my head and I'm going to add a little bit of chicken seasoning to it so you know you have season up your flour and then now I just mix up this together now. Then I dip my chicken into my egg and into my flour. Back into the egg, back into the flour, into the pot. Alright guys, my oil ready, ready now for my chicken. So, 
I'm going to do. See it there now. Watch my guy. And my flour well seasoned now. See it there? Flour well seasoned. So that's a one piece. Right, so I dip my chicken them into my egg. Yeah. You just skip them over into the egg. And then into the flour. And you coat them with the flour. Easy like that. I choose to use this holy chicken then. For now. Because I like to use my hand. I can't bother with this either to you guys. It's so going too slow. So, I drop them in there. And these chicken are fluffy you know guys. See there? They season up this long time. They know season well soaking at it. You see it there? Then they put a piece, put garlic in it. The garlic to fry with it. Alright guys, see my chicken there? Chicken at fry. So I leave that get that side fry and then I flip them over. Guys, see my measuring spoon there. See it there? I really use them, you know, guys. Because I can't bother to see if you use them here, you know. Because I can't measure from what I made. The amount of my want. Like, I'm going to tell them who's made major things. So, guys, I'm going to turn the chicken them now. Look to them. Yeah. Boom up on my chicken. See the guys? No chicken, no bad like this. Not even KFC, no bad so. Yeah. So no. No, I'm going to do now. I'm going to season up the peas. So my rice and peas. Alright. So, what I'm going to do now, I'll throw in. Because coconut milk powder. Now nah, I use no coconut today. I'm not getting no coconut and none. I'm already round for the tree. Day, so I use coconut powder today and butter. So that's my coconut powder. I have my thyme, my scallion, and I have my scotch bonnet pepper. I have my garlic. I drop in the peas in them and season up the peas water and the rice and peas. So I put in a piece of butter in it and I put some um, pimento seed. You know you have spice up your rice, yeah? Spice it up, yeah? Mix it up. Right. So I'm going to add a piece of butter here. Add a piece of butter. Nice. Oh. We now let out the salt in you know, guys. I you know when to put in the salt. I put in a little salt in there. So that's my butter. Right? And this. Yeah. The pimento seed. I want to make this a cinnamon seed. <laughs> Guys, I joke, you know. Because <laughs> when we say cinnamon seed, you know, a fermento, fermento seed, yeah. The fermento seed gives flavor, yeah. A spice, you know. So, see there? I'm not ready to drop in my little salt yet. Yeah, when I put in rice, I drop in my little salt. So, zoom up on my pot there. Right, I eat that. So, I get that boy little, and me drop in my rice. So, guys, I'm going to add in my rice. Add in the rice. And then now we're going to stir this up. And then cover this back now. 
and over this cook or dry out to the hands there you know when you cover back the pot let the water dry out then you turn down the flame under the pot and make it steam you understand me so this is well seasoned this has been everything I understand your butter and your coconut milk powder right my garlic my scallion the pimento seed and so forth you understand so I left this now but this dry out and, and finish steam you know so when we see it man my rice and peas I will come out to eat I will come out nice all right guys in the second butter chicken there and my rice and peas here Looking lovely guys. That's my rice and peas. Then I'm gonna cover the back now and make this thing steam. So guys, that is my spring bean. I put on to boil. Then I have some spring bean too. And I show them the finish. The chicken will finish fry. So this is my french fried chicken, see here, fried nice and scripty, mm -hmm. so I'm going to put them to drain on a piece of paper towel to get the excess grease off of it. So that's my french fried chicken and over here now I have my stuff for my cold flour, my cucumber carrot purple cabbage I'm gonna use the purple one and the white one and I have also a purple onion so you will see why I look about my cool flour I'm gonna go thread I thread my carrot now on it so that's my carrot so now I'm gonna go thread the cucumber then they add the other rest of things and then to it to never use make it and guys I me choose to use purple car um, cabbage into my coleslaw so I'm using the purple one and the white one so see my cucumber there guys and here is my onion The onion get a nice taste man you do it any way you want to do it. whether you want to chop up the onion or you can do it to a size where you want it you see it here so me do it this way so what i'm gonna do i'm just, just gonna just combine this together so it's colorful guys Then now, I am going to add my vinegar. As I said before guys, I don't use my measuring spoon. I know. Me know the amount of vinegar I want. So you have like, can have like 3 tablespoons of vinegar to this. So that's enough vinegar for me. We are judge it. As we do me, can you say we are judge it in. Alright. You know, you add a little sugar to it. And then, the mayonnaise right so yeah that a one two three and then you just mix this up together now knock nobody if this not yes good this is good we not even done yet see there just rub up this together So guys, this is my coleslaw. So it's pretty guys. Colorful. Alright, so now I'm make the gravy now. To eat with the dinner. Right? So you know you have to have the gravy to eat with the food. Alright guys, so some of this one season. Gravy. And guys, 
I finish the green over here, so then we'll finish. Let me see when I may start here. Ready? The gravy may go use as you can see it's a bell pepper onion and piece of cut panic pepper, you know, and kelly and in it too. You don't want much pepper in it, that's a little bit of pepper. You know, if you have to eat it, then you can have a one of gravy with full of pepper, right? I'm going to add some ketchup, some water, and some sugar to this for a little bit of taste, right? A sweet taste. So, you see, guys, I'm going to add some ketchup. That's too much. I'm going to add a little bit of sugar for a little sweet taste. And I'm going to add some water. Then we stir it and leave it to be cut down. Okay? Just leave that and let that cut down. Put your nice, nice gravy to your french fried chicken and rice and peas. Right, so guys, I see all my gravy are, are bubble up. Yes. Alright, guys. See how my gravy nice? See it there? Cut down. Show me one to take this one. See it here? Yes. So this is it, guys. It's my gravy. So, finish. Cook now. Yeah, the year is the dinner. French fried chicken, steamed fish, coleslaw, string bean pan inside. Wow. And sorrel juice. Alright. So that's my gravy, my string bean. Oh, pot cover hot. Woo! Yes, yeah, some nice shelly rice and peas, eh, guys. See it there? Right. Over here, so. So, my, my steam fish there. Yeah. And now, I have my coleslaw. Look at my coleslaw, guys. Guys, look at my coleslaw. It's so beautiful. Colorful man, yeah. What about this? Yes, so my friend fried chicken. Yeah, yes, yeah, man. Does it miss this? Yes, yeah, so come on, man. We can get some of this, man. Yeah, so my friend fried chicken. Eh? Yeah, big up to my husband. Yeah, love doing something here, you know, guys. Me juice there, my sorry juice, right? So that's it for me cooking my ears day dinner. So guys, I've come to the end of another video. Yes, that was me chefing up my Eros Day dinner. Yes, in the kitchen. Rice and peas, french fried chicken, steamed fish, coleslaw. Yes, and you know string bean with it also. And with nice, nice cereal juice. Who not like cereal juice? Yes, with then ginger and then lime. And you know my cereal juice, me not really put now they are sting in it more than the lime and the ginger, right? So, thanks for watching guys. I hope you learned something from what I did. Yes, I hope you learned something. Yes. And if you are a new person watching this video, yes, just press the subscribe button, no man. And like up the video, share out the video. Tell a friend to tell a friend about the D and S Eccleston family channel with Mommy Eccleston on their cooking. Yes, because Mommy Eccleston loves to cook, right? When you see my husband, 
in a vlog or video a cook and a do in tea yes so no so we see Ozzy man Ozzy doing yes so no so we see him so big up my husband yes even though it going to be a buckle between me and him in the kitchen when he come home yes because he's going like say he can cook you know better than me yes even though he's a bad chef too but me a better and better chef than him in the kitchen yes so thanks for watching guys see you in another video be blessed love you guys